Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name's Adrian and today we're going to look at this HYSC 1800E Lawn Scarifier and Aerator. So I'm going to open the box and lay the contents out on the table so you can see exactly what you get. So here we have the main unit itself with the uppermost handle and the power cord. Now these are all attached and pre-assembled. Then we have the lower two handles. This is the lower parts of the handles. The middle part of the handle, this big loop. This is the Scarifier drum. Here we have various parts that are going to be needed during the assembly. And then moving on, we have the collection bag, a little bit of assembly needed with this. And finally, the user manual. Now we do recommend that you read the user manual prior to assembly. So for step one of the assembly, we're going to fit the lower handles to the main unit. So the lower handles we described earlier are these units. They're not handed, so either one can go either side. And we're going to need two of these, one for each side as well. So we can just locate the lower handle. Let's just set it up at about 45 degrees to start with. In with the hand wheel and just do it up loosely in a clockwise direction. So that's one side fitted. I'll go around and do exactly the same on the other side. So moving on, we're going to need two of these screws and hand wheels. And then we're going to need the central handle, which is just this looped piece. So there's a little square underneath the head of these. And there's a square hole in these. So as you can see, it's important that when you fit the screws, to make sure that the little square lines up and is not at 45 degrees. There we are. So that's how they fit on the inside. So with that said, I can go ahead and assemble the two halves. So I'll place the middle handle inside the lower handles. Put the screw through from the inside to the out, making sure that square lines up. I'll just loosely put on one of the blue handles. I'll just spin that somewhere near for starters. I'll put the other one in. Again, taking care with a little square that it pops in the hole correctly. And I'll put on the hand wheel. Now on these hand wheels, let me bring you back to this closer side, there are some little notches. So when you do them up, as it becomes tighter, you'll find that they automatically latch in this position parallel to the bars. So a couple of turns, maybe one more. And that's nice and tight on there and locked parallel to the bars and this one the same so that's fitting the lower handles and the middle handle to the lower handles so we're going to fit the upper handle now to the middle handle exactly the same method put the upper handle on the outside now i'm just going to put this one bolt in to start with again taking care with the square there we are line the square up just put the little hand wheel on Let's just get it started. <laughs> okay, loosely with that one. Now what we need to do at this point, there's a cable strain reliever here. So we need to fit that on the upper handle. So I'll just slide it on the upper handle before we put the bolt in. In fact, that way around. With the loop over the bar, the circular loop over the bar. So that's there. And I can now fit the second bolt on this side. Again, taking care with the square and put the hand wheel on. There we are. So with both hand wheels in, we can now tighten the pair of these up. Okay. So that's the two hand wheels in position. So you'll see a little plastic clip came with the unit. And this is a cable tidy, can go in this area here, and that just keeps the cable out of the way of the collection bag. So this unit is what we call the cable strain reliever, and it stops putting undue pressure on the cable going into the trigger. So if I just take a small loop of cable, feed it from the back, through that hole, and over the loop, and there we are, that's secure. Now if this cable is pulled, all the strain is on this plastic bracket, and not on the switch itself, trying to pull this cable out of the switch. So that's that part of the assembly. 
Obviously, we'll undo the cable tidy and it's ready to plug in. So as we spoke about earlier, a little bit of assembly needed on the collection bag. You'll see these semicircular loops on the grass bag and they need to be hooked over the various bars. So let's start with the bottom one first. Difficult for me to show. Let me bring it round here. That's better. So I'll just start from one end and hook that on to the bottom of the grass bag. You can simply go to the side, do the same here. Just start one end, pop it on. And the same with this one, pop that one on. Around the other side. Not quite. That one. And the final and fifth one. There we are. That's the bag or collection bag completely assembled, ready to use. So to fit the collection bag, we lift the rear flap. And you'll see two hooks, one here and one here. And you'll see two corresponding pins on the grass bag, one here, one here. To put the two together, simply lift it up, hook them in and lower the flap. And that's it. To remove it, open the flap, lift the basket up and you can remove it. So that's it, simple as that. So your scarifier has a five position single point height adjuster. Shown here completely back towards the operator would be no cut at all in the zero position. And we can alter the depth of cut quite simply. One, two, three, four. So that's five positions, no cut, cut one, two, three, and four at varying depths. So that would be no cut and that would be the deepest cut. So the controls of the scarifier are done via this lever and this red button here. If you pull the lever only, nothing will happen. If you push the button and pull the lever, the unit will start. The unit will continue to go until you release the lever. Then the unit will stop. If you need to go again, you need to push the button and pull the lever. You'll hear the button pop out when I release. So the unit as supplied comes with the aerator fitted. And this part here is the scarifier with the tines. So I'm going to show you how to swap between the one and the other. Now at this point it's very important that you unplug it completely from the mains so that it doesn't inadvertently start while your hands are in the nasty area as it were. So with the machine you'll see that there was an allen key supplied. This allen key is required to undo this caption bolt here. So turning it anti-clockwise, I can undo the bolt completely out and remove this latch. Now lifting up from this end, I can lift and withdraw the aerator blade from its location. To refit the scarifier, you'll see one end, end has this square location. This fits on the square drive here. So a little bit of lining up, there you go. Drop it into its location with the bearing in this nest here. Close the lid. Do the bolt back up. Making sure it's tight. And that's it, we've changed to the scarifier from the aerator. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian and happy gardening.